uh, strength in depth now. You know, they've constantly been able to rotate the starting eleven, keeping players fresh, but also keeping players on their toes. Um, you know, I think that just shows the options they have, quality options they have. We've seen great tactical flexibility from this team, maybe more than any other team. This is a team that has found joy with the ball, without the ball, they can go route one, as well as score those intricate, flowing team goals we expect of them. Um, you know, I think Japan have also really thrived um, without some pressure on them. The fact that, you know, they didn't win the last Women's Asian Cup, they didn't even reach the final, having won the past two editions. They've been able to play without their pressure, they've been able to play freely, and I think, you know, they, they really are thriving without that you know, extra pressure on their shoulders. This is a young team, there's only one player in this team over 30, that's Captain uh, Saki Kumagai. We've got some teenagers in this, in this group, I mean, Michael Hamano and, and, and Fujino, but they play with a great sense of calm and maturity. All that leads to the question, can Japan win the World Cup? Well, for one, they have been the most impressive team. Three games, three wins, 11 goals scored, none conceded. There is, a, there is maybe not an arrogance from them, but an internal confidence that makes it feel that they can be whoever they play. And that's why Japan could go all the way.